So we're here at the world's busiest intersection, Shibuya Crossing, in Tokyo, Japan. But really, we're actually on top of the viewing deck for the Shibuya Crossing. So what we're going to do is show you a rooftop view, and also show you what it looks like from the ground. Just so you know, to get up to the viewing deck, it costs 1500 yen, but you do get a free drink with it, so it's definitely worth it, I highly suggest. At the end of this video, I'll also give you a tour of this viewing deck. So now we're going to discuss some of the things to do around Shibuya Crossing. We're also going to discuss a little bit about the history, and we'll even let you know some of the best places to eat. Did you know that the Shibuya Crossing has over 2,500 pedestrians cross at any given time? It's kind of like a choreographed dance of humanity. The best time to experience this is at night when the neon lights come alive. Trust me, standing in the middle of the Shibuya Crossing while the bustling city is around you is truly an unforgettable experience and it's one of the best that I've had while in Tokyo. You wouldn't think crossing a street would be such a big deal but let me tell you, it was definitely something to experience. Now let's take a quick detour into the history of the Shibuya Crossing. Shibuya Crossing has its roots that date back to the early 20th century. Originally known as Shibuya Station, it started as a quiet farming village but transitioned dramatically after the construction of the railway. By the 1930s, it became a bustling urban area and the crossing as we know it began to take shape. It's actually fascinating how it evolved into a cultural landmark. The crossing symbolizes Tokyo's vibrant, fast-paced lifestyle and serves as a meeting point for locals and tourists alike. Now let's discuss some of the things to do around the Shibuya Crossing. It's actually located within Tokyo, so there's a lot to do. So one of my favorite things to do is go to the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. I've been to several Pokemon Centers. I've been to one in Tokyo and one in Osaka. I think they're both pretty cool and the Pokemon Center in Osaka actually has a cafe that you can dine in, but I highly suggest that you make a reservation. From when I went there, I wasn't even able to get in. And that's because you have to make a reservation what's said to be even a month in advance. After looking at some of the reviews, some people said that it's so busy the site constantly goes down from people trying to book. So it's something that I would highly recommend if you're a Pokemon fan like me. I grew up with it so it was really cool seeing the lifelike figurines, the statues, and a variety of other things. I highly recommend it. Also, when you walk in, you're going to be greeted by colorful displays, plushies, and all things Pokemon. There's even a battle area where you and your friends can play. Also, make sure that you get the merchandise that you won't find anywhere else because in reality, when else are you going to be in Tokyo? May as well get your souvenirs while you're at the Pokemon Center. Another cool thing that you can do is visit the Shiba Inu cafes. If you're a dog lover, then you're going to love this place. And honestly, even if you don't in particularly love dogs, it's pretty cool because you can go there, you can have a drink, you can end up playing with the dogs. It's actually really cool. Tokyo is also famous for its themed restaurants. For something really fun, try a robot restaurant in Shinjuku. It's an over-the-top experience filled with neon lights, dancing robots, and spectacular performances. The food is alright, but the show is unforgettable. <laughs> After all that food, why not take a stroll in one of Tokyo's most beautiful parks? Uno Park. Now forgive me if I didn't say that right, but it's perfect for a leisurely walk, you can explore museums, enjoy cherry blossoms in the spring, and even see some cute animals at the Uno Zoo. Tokyo is truly a city that never fails to amaze me. From the magical world of Pokemon to the heartwarming Shiba Inu cafes and incredible dining experiences, there's something here for everyone.
All right, guys, that's about it for this video. If you like it, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you like these cool short videos where I show you different things around the world, be sure to let me know in the comments so I can keep creating them for you. If you look at my first videos, they are definitely a lot more high production, but I'm open to making lower production videos and doing more volume if this is what you guys like. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next.